All right, welcome to another video. Today we're going to build a public API. We're going to use caching, rate limiting. Uh, we're going to build a resource around our data. Um, some minor tips here and there. And we're going to use Telescope to, yeah, monitor everything that's going on. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, so I have a freshly installed um, Laravel application right here, uh, but I already did some things. I already installed uh, yeah, the database and I have ran some um, uh, migrations and I created models. So uh, I first of all, I created a Teams model with this migration, so in a name, a team type, every abbreviation, and so on. And I also create a riders model with the migration of yeah, whatever, everything we need. Um, I've already uh, created a seeder for that, which seeds the database uh, with three teams and three riders. Um, and I have already installed Telescope. Um, Telescope is a, yeah, a Laravel application that we could use to monitor our complete uh, application uh, when it comes to requests, queries, uh, logs, uh, cache, and so on. In this um, video, we will uh, use it to monitor our requests and monitor our queries that has been run, that will run uh, towards our database. So, um, first of all. Um, yeah, I'm going to run the migration. Uh, sorry, I'm going to run the seeding. Uh, but in order to this to work, um, I have to show you in the models, I have created fillable fields uh, for our model. So PHP artisan, artisan um, DB seed, and we're going to use the class team seeder because the class has the name of team seeder. There we go. Whoops, something went wrong. Um, oh, of course, it's an equals to sign. There we go. So this ran and it created uh, lots of all, a quick step alpha vinyl and helps in Phoenix. Uh, and in uh, lots of all, we've created three riders, Philip Schubert, Thomas de Gent, and Caleb Ewan. If you can't tell, I'm a cycling fanatic. So that's why I chose this topic for our public API. All right. so. Um, let's start off with creating a controller, which we definitely need. So PHP artisan make controller. And I want this to be in the API folder that doesn't exist already in the controllers, but we will create it. Um, and we're going to call it team controller. There we go. Inside here, it created um, yeah an API folder and in there a team controller. So in here, we're going to use, uh, well, we're going to create a public function. Whoops, public function index, which actually returns, oh my God, I can't type anymore, uh, returns uh, team, and we could say all like this, but I prefer um, to use paginate Paginate, there we go. A uh, paginate of one. I choose one because we have three teams and if I paginate uh, with one item in there, we could demonstrate the functionality of that. We're going to use app models and team. There we go. So this controller should be ready. All right, so let's define our route. Um, in the routes folder, we have api.php-channels, um, console and web. Actually, we're building an API, so we're going to use the API uh, file. In here, we can create our new uh, routes that we need, but first of all, I'm going to show um, a small trick that I like to use. In the uh, providers uh, folder, we have, whoops, uh, in our providers folder, we have route service provider, and in here, we have um, in the boot function, we have yeah, configure rate limit. That's for later in this video. But we also have um, yeah um, routes that we have for API and for web. In this case, it has a prefix API, which means we can use the um, 
URL of our application slash API slash the roster that we are going to define in our API.php file. But in here, for making our routes a bit more readable, I'm going to add a namespace, uh, a namespace of um, yeah, the location of our controls that we're going to use in the API. So this will be app backslash HTTP backslash controllers, whoops, controllers backslash API because our uh, controllers will be in the APIs folder in the controls folder in the actually in the structure that we, you're, see, you're seeing right here. So um, this makes it a bit more readable and a bit more easy to write our routes. So we're going to define a new route, a get route, um, which will be accessible uh, by the URL endpoint teams. We're going to uh, define it within the team controller at index. And we're going to name it index if we want to refer it uh, to it in, an, in another way. So, so let's save this. And actually, if I do PHP artisan route list, you can see I have a lot of telescope routes in here. But now we have um, yeah the API users, which is this one. And then we have the get API teams, which has an index file, an index function in API team controller index. So let's head over to Postman and add in here HTTP uh, slash slash uh, pro, pro cycling API. I already tested this, of course. Um, API slash teams. If I enter this. Then we have the result. All right, so let's pull this up real quick. Um, I paginated uh, one item per page. So now we have Ulta Sudol and I can uh, head over to the next page, uh, next page URL right here. So there we go. And if we hit that, we get a um, quick step off of vinyl and so on. I'm just going to close this one. There we go. So. There we have the normal return of our API, but we're far from finished here. We want to protect ourselves from yeah uh, DDoS attacks and so on. So we're going to introduce the cache. So if we head over to our application again, um, well, first of all, I'm going to show in Telescope what actually happened. So um, there was a, a GET request towards teams and then to teams page two. And if we head over to queries, you can see, uh, well, this is actually from our seeding. And this from here to here is actually from our uh, request that we did in Postman. So let's clear this out, get rid of all it. And also the requests are, yeah, gone. So so we're going to start by importing the cache. So illuminate um, backslash uh, support. Yeah, support backslash facades backslash cache. There we go. Well, and we're, we want to actually, yeah, return the cached version of um, our team pagination. So in here, we're just going to um, yeah, return uh, cache, remember, and we're going to yeah call it uh, teams, and we're going to cache it for, let's say, 50, 60 seconds. Yeah, we could yeah increase or decrease that, but let's say we're caching it for 60 seconds. Then we're going to have a callback function in here. Uh, so function, um, there we go, oh, function, there we go. And in here, we're going to return the pagination that we had before. So now, and I have something wrong here, of course. Yeah, all right. So if we run this again in Postman, there we go, it still works. 
but when we see the IntelliScope, we have one request and yeah, two queries, one, one for our pagination and one for our uh, Teams itself. But if we run this again, no additional queries, but we have an additional, uh, an additional request. So this actually remembers the, the, the Teams for 60 seconds. If we, um, PH, if we clear our cache, so PHP artisan, cache clear, and we run it again. In that case, another request has come in and we can see that we have newly uh, created queries. If you run it again and again and again, no additional queries, but a few more requests. So this implicates that our cache is working. So in this example, we still need to clear our cache uh, ourselves, but that's actually a topic for another video. We could create observers to, yeah, whenever we have an update or a creation of a new team or a new rider, we could clear the cache uh, or we could just um, store the cache for, yeah, let's say a week or a day or whatever, uh, and um, clear the cache overnight or some other things. But for this example, the cache will be stored for 60 seconds and that's it. So um, by default, Another really important thing, by default, um, the route service provider that you saw also uses configure rate limiting. This is actually a function in here that actually sets a rate limit of 60 times per minute for every user ID. In this case, we don't have a user that requests the data, so it will use the IP address of the request. So if I change this to one, request per minute and I go head over to Postman again and I send the yeah a call and I send it again then we have uh, it's an HTML uh, that uh, headers we have to add accept uh, application JSON oh, accept yes application JSON all right send so this returns too many attempts. All right, so this actually comes without any additional configuration or coding. So thank you Taylor Otwell for this and his team uh, for bringing this for to us uh, for free actually. So yeah, I strongly suggest using this. By default it's 60, so I'm going to set it back to 60. If I hit uh, the send button again, it will load and I will be able to send uh, 60 requests per minute. All right, so in here, we have a lot of data that we actually don't want. Deleted that, updated that, created that. Um, so let's create uh, an API resource for that, uh, that we can filter out the yeah, values that we want or don't want. So PHP artisan uh, make a resource, and we're just going to call it a team resource. There we go. So this created actually um, a resource folder for us, resources here and here. And so this actually has a two array function in here. And I'm actually going to, um, yeah, to define our own um, mapping of the items that we want or don't want in our um, response. So return and it's an array. And I first thing that I want is the name of the team. And I want it to be um, an uh, UC first of uh, this name. And I have a typo right here, this name. Now I'm going to save this um, and I'm going to remove this. And there we go. Yes, um, and in the team controller, well, this won't work as is. Uh, we need to introduce the uh, newly created resource um, on top of our file. So app uh, HTTP resor resources uh, and it's team resource. Team resource. So we're remembering in our cache the response of team paginate. And actually this is what we want to um, er yeah, loop to our resource. So team resource, 
team resource uh, collection and in there we're going to add team paginate one if we save this and we go head over to postman again and we click send now it has a shorter data uh, actually only the team as we defined in our resource um, so in here uh, in our resource we can add all the fields that we want so abbreviation I want this to be um, the uh, uh, string to upper of this abbreviation there we go and if we head over to postman again and we hit send abbreviate oh, I made a typo I guess let me see in our team it's abbreviation oh I just typed abbreviation sorry abbreviation hit save head over to postman again hit send again and there we have it and actually that's it there's nothing more to it that's and this is how I like to structure my API's using uh, caching um, API resourcing uh, rate limiting which comes by default in Laravel but it's very handy to use and to maybe reduce the amount of requests um, pagination in our Laravel API uh, using namespacing wherever you can to make it re more readable. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any more questions, um, yeah, hit me in the in the comments down below or hit me up on Twitter. Um, and don't f yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye.